Finally, I'm on to the best game in the series. Let's fucking go. Every time I do this, playing through the collection, I fucking... Mm, two is always the down point, man. I wanna fucking die when I do two. Oh. So you see what I mean, right? When I was saying that uh, some of the FMVs are a bit weird. Like, this has been upscaled, and it just looks... I don't know, it looks weird. You know what I mean? It just looks kind of weird. But anyway, uh, I did play a bit last night. Um, I didn't play much. Just a little bit. So, yeah. So let's get into this shit, shall we? I'm excited. Sadly, the now loading mini game has not made a return, which makes me very sad. You've heard of it, haven't you? The legend of Sparta. Fucking Namco Bandai, I think. Trademarking it. Long ago, in ancient times, a demon rebelled against his own kind for the sake of the human race. With his sword, he shut the portal to the demonic realm and sealed the evil entities off from our human world. But since he was a demon himself, his power was also trapped on the other side. I never believed it. I thought it was just a child's fairy tale. But I discovered that this so-called legend wasn't a myth at all. He's, so he's come existed. here, went across the road, then the door How next, do and then... Well, I met the sons of Sparta. Both of them. Though the same blood of their father flowed through their veins, the two battled each other fiercely like arch enemies. It seemed as if they derived some sort of twisted pleasure from this brotherly fighting. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Hold on, I'm gonna have to mute my microphone. Just know that something very bad with packaging delivering has happened. Customer too. <laughs> well, if you want to use the bathroom, help yourself. The toilet's in the back. Is your name Dante, son of Sparta? Where did you hear that? From your brother. He sent this invitation for you. Please, accept it. <laughs> I 
Invitation, huh? Is getting crazy. Let's rock. So I think this delivery guy has delivered a near 300 pound phone to some random to hold for us. Because he's a stupid fucking cunt hole and didn't wait. Give delivery feedback? How about waiting more than five seconds, you stupid motherfucker? This intro is good as shit. I love it. I'm making a few, making a phone call, and um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go pick that up soon because I don't fucking trust anybody with a 300 pound package. So, um, I'm gonna have to go pick that up real soon. Um. I can stream for a bit longer though, so. It pisses me off, it really does. The delivery. The del delivery couriers, some of them are really good, and then, and then some of them are just a fucking joke. There's like no in between. They're either really nice and really good, or they're a f complete fucking joke. Anyway, let's do this first mission. Red orbs, magic red stone of crystallized demon blood. Offer it to the gods to earn new power. Mm -hmm. So that's our currency, as per usual. I don't know how many people know you can do this, but once you've downed an enemy, you can jump on them for extra star points and teensy bit of damage, I guess. It's not a huge damage dealer, because you are still just using your guns. Uh, so there is something in this game that was in... ...called Jump Cancelling. Which you can do very nicely. You can use that with the attacks with Killer B, Beowulf. To great effectiveness. Hold on, I'm getting a call.
<laughs> Alright, phone call is now over with. Sorry, guys. Really sorry about that, but... Um, like I said... You know, fucking... 300 pound piece of tech. Going off to fucking whoever, you know, God knows who. What a fucking joke. So yeah, I guess I'm alright at this game. I don't know. <laughs> it's not like it's my favorite or anything. <laughs> it's not like it's my favorite or nothing. <sighs> Fucking hell. No, my pizza. I can already tell. Looks like this is going to be one hell of a party. Boom. Love it. A S S S S Fucking yes Yas bitch Yas <laughs> I'm really happy that that went well It I mean for two reasons really It puts me in good stead it really does put me in good stead. Now, you may think, John, what the fuck are you doing? Get the stinger, and you'd be right, but also wrong. You'll find out why you're wrong in the next mission. I love this game. You're gonna pay for that. <laughs> no way. Yeah, we'll pay you in demon bucks. It's cool. I'm gonna use you for nefarious means. Woo. So yeah, um, there are invincibility frames on jump, which is why you will see me jump quite frequently to get myself out of trouble. Get taunted, bro. Whoops. Finger slip. Or oh, thumb slip. More accurately. 
Ah, oh, you little bitch. Just can't stand to see a boy shine. You gonna do the ting? There you go, he did the ting. So this game from DMC 2 brings back delay combos. And boy did it need them. A lot of I know that there are quite a majority, you know, a fair majority that will just button mash, but like delay combos are really useful and really good. <clears throat> I tried to get fancy and I fucked it. There we go. Easy boss fight, easy life, easy peasy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. It's been nearly a year since we last met. Where does the time go? Where does the time go? Look at that stare. Master, I have failed you. No doubt you've got some fun planned for me. Right, right Virgil? Virgil? A C yeah, okay, you know what, okay. You know what? I'm pretty happy about that overall. Could have been a lot worse. Uh uh Mission Select. We have to do something real quick. <laughs> This is safety. This is pure safety. Hold on, how much... How many red orbs have we got? 7k. Yeah, we'll hit that easy. Alright. So this is purely, um, safety. Um, and plus I don't want to take forever and waste everybody's time. So I'm going to do this. Little handy dandy strat.
Ooh. Thank you, invincibility frames. Forever in that debt. Explode, you little bitch. Oh, I got hit by it. I'm pissed. Oh, you dick. Easy. So you get a guaranteed 3k from this fight. From this mission. And... That's because of the, the boss rank. The, um... The... No. You get a guaranteed 1000 from this mission. But... It's an easy enough mission to where you get a, a 3000 uh, score rank. Or score a rank bonus. I can't words today. So, yeah. So usually I'd go back and S rank the first mission, but that's a bit too risky. Just in case I don't do it. So I like to guarantee some money at least. I come well. Doesn't it excite you? The Tim and the Guru has revived. Demon the Great One, who once ruled this earth as the medium between the human world and the demon world. Isn't it a magnificent view? The greatest minds of their time, those who revered evil, constructed this glorious edifice. Now, after two millenniums of confinement, it can at last fulfill the purpose for which it was intended. That's none of my concern. Did he have it? Of course. He's taking good care of it. After all, it is the only memento left from the mother you both lost. But he has no idea of its true power. 11 a.m. GMT. So those enemies on fire spells out a three. Um, for mission three, of course. 
So we're gonna now go into my guns and we're gonna grab this upgrade. Boom. My guns are now at the maximum and I had just, just enough for the stinger. <laughs> just enough. Perfect. Ex executed to perfection. Also, I didn't know, I don't know how many people are aware, especially if you don't play this game a whole bunch. But you can turn back and refight these enemies. It really helps out for when you're on the higher difficulties and trying to go for S ranks and shit like that. I'm gonna go close just so I can get a lock on. And that killed most of them. So because it because of the stinger input, it's so it's so very easy to um, rely on the stinger a lot, which is something I don't really want to do. So because like you can like abuse and abuse the stinger, I would say. So I made a mistake in, in trying to fight those things. Don't try and fight them. Because if you go back... In a normal playthrough, right? If you just go back and fight the dudes prior, you don't really need to fight them because you've got the style points and... All that kind of shit from doing the fight prior. So it's absolutely okay. Shotgun! <clears throat> so you may be wondering why didn't I wait to upgrade my shotgun? There's reasons. Similar reasons to in De Devil May Cry 2, really. The shotgun is more of like a, a... a use to end a combo. Whereas the guns are a very consistent hitter. And that's useful for what's coming up next, so... Fucking hell. Even the hand is grabbing me. I don't know how many people know that you can do that. Spin on the uh, pole. Oh, wow. I was kind of hoping my attack would uh, take priority, but it didn't. Ride him. Just into a fucking table. Just want to like increase my style points as much as I can, really. And there is a blue, uh, green orb rather over there. What a big tower! Alright, so immediately, this. Alright. Gives us some orbs. And then immediately, this. This is really noticeable. Everybody will pick this up. And if you don't, what are you doing with your life? Secondly, this isn't as noticeable, but it is pretty noticeable on the HD collection because it's widescreen instead of being uh, for 4.9. Uh, and that is this statue up here that we can use to gain another blue orb. There we go. There we go. 
Now that isn't as noticeable in the original on the PS2 because of the aspect ratio, but it is certainly noticeable in this collection. And we go in here for a secret mission. And I believe we should have enough blue orbs now uh, to get a full orb. Enough fragments, rather, to get a full orb. Alright, sweet. Secret mission clear, and that gives us another fragment. So, right off the bat, we should get a full blue orb. Or not. We're probably like one off. But similar to Devil May Cry 1, um, yeah, you can, you get a bunch of blue orb fragments just straight off the bat, and it's pretty helpful. Um, I mean, we got enough money to where we can even buy one, so we'll buy a, flu a full blue orb right now. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I want. Ice Guardian's Chamber. Alright. A very infamous boss, because on the original version of the game, where it was much harder, as in normal was um, hard in Japan, the US's normal was actually hard in Japan. There we go. And um, all that kind of stuff, so everything was um, a level above in the US version. So, in case... So this is for anybody who is unfamiliar with this fight. Uh, there is a very bullshit way to cheese it. And this is how. You stand in this very corner. And you shoot its face. A lot. So yeah. Now, if you're wondering how I'm doing the, my gunshot so much, it's because I've bound my gunshot to my L1, and I am using my middle and index to mash the button. This is the only time you need to move. Because them shits will hit you even in the corner. But everything else won't hit you, so...
So yeah, if you ever wondered what, what is the least entertaining way to do a boss fight in a DMC game, outside of everything in Devil May Cry 2, uh, it's pretty much this. And the only reason I bring this up is because a lot of people do struggle with this fight. Like, struggle a shitload. Which I can completely understand. I mean, it, it is a pretty tough boss fight to start you out on. You know? And that's why I upgraded my guns to level three. Who knows? I'm not even sure myself. Regardless, you have proved your strength. I acknowledge your ability. Take my soul and go forth. You have my blessing. A weapon of three interlocking rods infused with the elemental power of ice. So we. There is a ton of in game cutscenes in this game. It's kind of impressive, actually. Like, for anything even remotely complex. The older games had to use FMVs. not that bad. I mean, I'll take it. But, um, yeah, what mission is next? I forget. And I also forget that this isn't like DMC4 where it gives you a preview. <laughs> I'm getting pretty tired, um, to be honest, so I may end the stream really soon now. Because I am I'm getting... I love this game, but fuck me, I'm tired. We'll end off with Looks this cutscene. Like have an uninvited guest. Is that so? A human. A woman. I'm afraid I should ask the uninvited one to leave. That is what you want. Actually, I happen to be acquainted with that woman. Storm is approaching. 
Yeah, so this is a good mission <coughs> to stop off on. Because I need my brain to actually function to do this mission. So... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna make you guys suffer. And myself suffer, really. Uh, yeah. Wait. Alright. So, with that, I am going to quit the mission. Yep. And save just to make sure. Yep. Alright, sweet. And we will exit out to the very main menu. So, thank you all for watching. I'm sorry this kind of went a little awry. Um, but stupid fucking delivery people not doing their jobs correctly. And <sighs> we did we did finish off uh, DMC 2. So, I mean, that was progress. Um, but yeah, I am so tired now. So I'm just going to chillax for a bit. And probably play Monster Hunter for a bit until I can't until I can't function. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching, and um, yeah, we'll be playing more DMC three. I don't know when actually. I don't know if it's gonna be tonight or not. I don't know. Um, I I don't know. So. I'll stream whenever I stream. I'll announce it on Twitter, though. And so, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Peace.